Hello and welcome to part 4 of the 4 part tutorial on the ArcSoft Showbiz editing software that ships with the Hapag HD PVR2. In part 4 we're going to be um, finally rendering and uploading our video to YouTube or saving our video out to uh, somewhere on our computer for later usage so let's get to it. Right, right here under the produce tab you'll see uh, three major options create ABC HD which is um, for DVDs and Blu-rays. I'm not really going to go into that because I uh, really recommend you don't even try that with this software. You'll be um, terribly disappointed if you do. Uh, the next option we have is to create the file. And when we go in here, you can choose either file or a PMP. PMP is um, for portable media players, but I uh, recommend you just go ahead and stick with file. And then under um, manufacturer, you're going to have file format. The strange thing about that is, you don't really have any options for the file format unless you uh... well even if you change the format you still don't have anything it's just file format doesn't really need to be there but anyway AVI is an older um, codec which is um, a fancy word of calling it a a container or the way that a software will read it um, basically AVI is a little bit out of date so we're just going to look at um, QT MOV which is a QuickTime movie, which is good for Apple products, and a WMV, which is a Windows Media Video, which is good for um, Windows products. Um, the QuickTime comes out on the H.264, which is a true Blu-ray quality. You can um, choose that, and that might be your best option to uh, do so, because a lot of times Windows Media Players, Windows Media Player comes with the codecs to play movie files, or .MOVs, and... Um, I know you can't play WMVs, Windows Movie Video, or Windows Media Videos with, uh, let's say, a QuickTime Player or iTunes. So if you uh, want that kind of intercompatibility, just go ahead and save it out as a QuickTime Movie. But um, I'll go ahead and talk about the WMV because when you click on Upload to YouTube, that's that's what you get. It puts it in the WMV because it's able to upload and render at the same time, saving you a little bit of a step. But the caveat to that is you're only going to be able to upload in 720p, so you're not going to get the 1080p, which is probably the reason why you bought the PVR2 in the first place. So, just so you know that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and export this out to WMV because that's um, my particular favorite, and it comes out in 1080p and I'm going to set that to high quality. If you change it to standard, you're going to get 640 by 480 at 25 frames per second, which is a little bit of a downsampling. And if you uh, put it at low quality, you're really going to get a lot of downsampling. So, um, you know, you, you got a high definition PVR, so you know, you got it for that reason, so why not go ahead and use it for what it's uh, meant for? Plus it's easier to scale back larger videos than it is to scale up smaller videos. When you um, do that, you're going to get a lot of pixelation and artifacts in there. Your video is going to look really fuzzy and choppy. So, so I say go ahead and uh, you know go with the good stuff at first, and then if you need to downsize it later, do it that way. That way you're not losing any quality of your work. So now that we've uh, got all our settings in order, I'm just going to click on Start. And when I click on Start, I'm actually going to... Uh, time how long it takes to render out but this re this rendering time is going to take different depending on what kind of a uh, computer and what kind of processing power your computer has so I'm just going to uh, pause this while it's rendering and I will pick back up as soon as it's done it's been 11 minutes and we're at 37 percent Alright, we're a little bit over 30 minutes and that was a pretty large file, so uh, I'm not extremely upset about that. But what I'm going to go ahead and do while I'm um, finishing this up is uh, go ahead and start. You know what, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to go ahead and click the upload to YouTube button as soon as this is done. And then I'll look, upload the uh, 1080p version as well after I'm done with um, the video. So anyway, as soon as it's done you get the uh, create process finished successfully and you just click on OK then you navigate to the folder 
in which you have it located and I'll go ahead and pull that up all right so here we have it right here if we um, look down here it put out a pretty large file 2.25 gigabytes frame width 1920 so it'd be 1920 by 1080 and um, it's got this crazy name we can uh, go ahead and rename that to um, 1080 Moab Arc Toots yeah, just so we know what it is, it's a little bit more descriptive than 2012-10.06, which is the time it was recorded and whatever else they felt like putting in there at the time. And the only thing this clip was, was it was, um, I quickly rendered one out at 320-240 just so we could see uh, what the quality of it was when it rendered out like that. And I am... Well, I have the audio turned off to my computer right now, but so you won't be able to hear it, but you'll be able to see the quality or see the lack of quality, I should say. We'll go ahead and get into it. See, that's what happens when you um, down sample. So we'll get rid of that, and then I'll just go ahead and show you, show it in 1080. Now note that this video is going to be down sampled to uh, 720 because that's what my uh, desktop recording software records in. So that is that part of it. And now let me get this off the screen. And now we'll do the old upload to YouTube. And uh, doesn't ask me any questions. Just click and it's going straight to YouTube right now. And it is uh, 117 a.m. And again, I'm going to pause this and I'll be back with you as soon as um, it's done uploading. All right, we're at 98% and it should be done in just a minute. It's going to let us know it's done. It's kind of convenient. I didn't bother to write down what time we started, but it wasn't nearly as long as the uh, the first time around. And it prompts me for my login info then ask me to do all of that it's going to be rendered video from ArcSoft tutorial putting in a little description That's enough for now. Not 21. Two. Public. Uh, yeah. Well, it was supposed to have uploaded and rendered at the same time. But it is going in a WMV. It's currently at 7%. Let me check my channel real quick. Yeah, it's currently processing the uh, the video there. This isn't my normal screen resolution. I was doing that so I could get um, everything on the screen for you. There we go. So yeah, it's processing. 14%. And I don't want to bore you all with this upload, so I'm going to pause the video again. Alright, we're at 
And it looks like it finished by the time I got done saying 98%. Let me go over here and check the old YouTube real quick. Yeah, it says it's still processing. But that's expected. Anyhow, what I've done is um, I went ahead and downloaded the 15-day uh, free trial for the, I believe it's ArcSoft Showbiz 5 editing software. I think it's $79.99. I'm going to go ahead and um, install that and give it a try and see if we can't get some better results out of that than uh, we did with the ArcSoft Showbiz. So just to recap, you know, we've been through um, the interface of it, how to organize things, how to edit and do a little bit of a voiceover for it, and finally how to render it out and share it. And um, Basically, my final opinion of it is uh, if you're not really serious about editing, um, this is the software for you. But if you uh, want to put out a uh, very high quality and highly edited um, piece of footage then uh, you're going to need to look somewhere else but um, that's uh, pretty much it for this series and I'm going to um, install that software and uh, I'll probably be back in just a little bit with um, I guess maybe a quasi unboxing of that so um, thanks for stopping by remember to comment like subscribe I'm on uh, Facebook and all that other fun stuff. So um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.